Alright, we're going to make a oil injector to make big smoke out of your airplane. This is one of the things I do that I believe is making it smoke so much. So we take a piece of uh, 3 seconds brass tubing. Get them at any hobby shop or online anywhere. And you take an E32 pressure fitting. This one's from Dubro. You don't need that fiber washer. We're going to use a brass one instead. I'm just going to cut off a little piece of my drill press here. I'm just going to use my trusty old pipe cover. Mm -hmm. About a quarter inch longer than the fitting is on either side. Okay. Now the old uh, Dubro 832 fittings used to have the hole in the center perfectly drilled for these 330 seconds pipes. I don't think they meant it to be that way, but it just was. And you can just slip this in and solder it right in. But since these fittings don't come with that size hole anymore, we need to drill it out to 330 seconds. So I'm just going to clamp it into this adjustable wrench sort of vice grip tool here. And uh, we'll set it up onto the work surface. Make sure it's nice and flat before we drill it out. Hold it steady and then just go ahead and drill right through it. There you go. Right on through that ought to do it. We want to restrict the flow of the oil. We don't want more, we want less. There's no way you can dump a full open wide pipe of oil into a system and expect it to burn at all. I don't care how big the engine so is. It's... The trick is here you take a pair of these side cutters or dikes, some people call them that. That's a funny name, right? Um, and you just, right in the middle of the pipe, maybe about an eighth inch deep. You just crimp it. Now this looks a lot like a windshield wiper, or sorry, windshield washer nozzle. In the old days, I remember my Mustang used to have nozzles like this on it. It would make two streams of fluid come out instead of one. So there's your pipe with the crimp in it. That's pretty much how it looks now. So that's it. If you have one, a single exhaust pipe, a single cylinder engine, then this is all you would need is one of these, and that's going to give you two streams, two small streams. It's going to come out almost in droplets, just like almost like a spray. It'll burn most of it instead of you ever notice how a lot of planes with smoke systems are soaking wet with the oil underneath and on the wings when they're done and stuff. It's because none of it's burning. You can't just take a pipe and dump it in there and expect it all to burn. Especially the further down the system you put it. So the thinner those sprays are, the more likely you're going to burn that smoke oil and not have it dumping down your fuselage. So you take the pipe that you crimped the one end on and you uh, put it into the fitting that you drilled out earlier. Uh, you can make this pipe any length you want, whatever works for you. I like mine to stick into the exhaust path a little bit and, uh, you know, like right into the middle of the pipe there. This end sticking out past the barb on the nipple is good because it gives the hose some stability. Just make sure it has a little roundedness, like I said, on the edge so you don't cut the hose. But that'll give you some more stability to the hose. You don't need that if you don't want, but it's also a place for the solder to wick in when you solder it. So you would just take it like this and maybe take your little mini alligator clip holding tool, those little mini hand tools, however you want. And you would just solder this pipe into this fitting. Just hit it on here and let it wick down in either side. Sometimes I do both sides. And that makes a perfect oil injector. Voila. Don't use a fiber washer under here that they give you with it. You can buy brass washers. There's an assortment that I get from Tower Hobby that has one that fits right on there. Just a real thin brass washer and that'll act as your ceiling washer and it won't get hurt by the temperature of the head pipe. And uh, 
They're good to go. Then. This is the brass washer assortment I got from Tower Hobbies, made by Foremost Products. So, by the way, when you go to tighten these things up when you're done, be real careful with them, you know. Just use a tiny little wrench, just go nice and easy on there. Maybe give it a second for the washer to seat, and then just come back over, and maybe just one more time, just a little bit more. You know, just snug them. Don't go crazy, or they'll just snap off or strip off. You don't need that, so... That ought to do it. This is the finished product, what it looks like here. There's your squirter nozzle and uh, should be good to go. You'll be fogging it up. So you could dial down the low side to where you get, as soon as you turn the switch on, you get some fluid coming out, at, even at an idle, so it's just barely smoking. And then as you throttle it up you get the higher speed that you want. Let's see if we can slow down the top rate. So there's the program mix I have. We'll try to bring that rate down. And just dial it down. So it's full throttle. It don't need much. I mm -hmm. yeah, probably want more than that. Maybe. Mm -hmm. So, that's idle. Just barely dripping out. Full speed. Spraying pretty hard. There's a lot more to go, but... I don't need that much. Our ground problem is fixed. 